Rachel, usually we're battling clouds here and there, but that's not going to be a factor tonight. So we have the full beaver moon, which some will end up calling the full blood beaver moon tomorrow morning because of the red glow this will have during the lunar eclipse. And here's what happens. Here's the moon. Here's Earth. Here's the sun. And tomorrow morning, the Earth will get directly between the two and cast a shadow on the moon. And that's why the moon will have a red appearance. And this is called the lunar eclipse tomorrow morning. Now, there is one thing to pay attention to here, and that is the timing of it. And the reason for that is the moon will be setting as the eclipse gets to its best point. So the partial eclipse starts at about 409 tomorrow morning. And at that point, it'll look like the moon kind of has a piece of it taken out. But the total eclipse, when the moon starts to appeal, appear orange or red, uh, that begins at 517. It peaks right around 6 a.m. and then the moon will be setting in the Hartford area by 637 tomorrow morning. So it'll be getting really low on the horizon. So if you want a really good view of this in the western sky, your best bet is earlier in this time frame, 6 a.m. or even earlier than that. Either way, though, it'll be in total, totality for almost 80 minutes. And this is the first total lunar eclipse on an election day. And the next one, we are going to have to wait a few years. March of 2025. We just had one several months ago. But this time, after this one, we'll have to wait a little while. But as Rachel said, the good news is the sky will be clear. You're just going to have to get up early to see it. Back to you guys.